All right, I'm ready for my next question. In a world where rhinoceroses are domesticated pets, who wins the Second World War? <laughs> Uganda. Defend. Kenya rises to power on the export of rhinoceroses. A Central African power bloc is formed, colonizing North Africa and Europe. When war breaks out, no one can afford the luxury of a rhino. Kenya withers, Uganda triumphs. <laughs> Correct. My turn. In a world where a piano is a weapon, not a musical instrument, on what does Scott Joplin play the maple leaf rag? Tuned bayonets. Defend? Isn't it obvious? You're right, my apologies. <laughs> what the hell are you guys playing? It's a game we invented. It's called Counterfactuals. We postulate an alternate world that differs from ours in one key aspect and then pose questions to each other. It's fun for ages 8 to 80. Join us. <laughs> All right, I like a good brain teaser. Give it a whirl. You're in luck. This is an easy one. In a world where mankind is ruled by a giant intelligent beaver, what food is no longer consumed? Uh, a BLT where the B stands for beaver? <laughs> Leonard, be serious. We're playing a game here. <clears throat> I can figure this out. Let's see. Um, well, beavers eat tree bark. The only tree bark I know that humans consume is cinnamon, so I'll say cinnamon. Incorrect. Obviously, the answer is cheese Danish. <laughs> what? In a world ruled by a giant beaver, mankind builds many dams to please the beaver overlord. The low-lying city of Copenhagen is flooded, thousands die, devastated, the Danes never invent their namesake pastry. <laughs> How does one miss that? This is ridiculous. You're just making stuff up. Is he always like this when he loses? Oh, yes. You should have been here for the great Jenga tantrum of 2008. <laughs> you bumped the table and you know it. Perhaps it would be kinder to play a game more suited to his abilities. We'll close our eyes and count to ten while you hide. <laughs> This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Department of Homeland Security. At 2.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, NORAD radars detected numerous incoming nuclear missiles launched from Iran. The missiles appear to be targeted for major cities and metropolitan areas impacted will include New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Seattle, Tacoma, Miami, Atlanta, Denver. St. Louis, Minneapolis, St. Paul, San Francisco, Boston, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. These missiles are expected to impact in approximately 30 minutes. A few live within 300 miles of these cities, seek shelter now in the lowest level of a reinforced building due to the impact of fallout. Fallout is extremely dangerous and will spread quickly within minutes of impact. All television and radio stations will cease normal operations effective immediately. Please refrain from using landline and cellular telephones so lines can remain open for emergency personnel. Stay tuned for a message from President Obama. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Department of Homeland Security. At 2.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, NORAD radars detected numerous incoming nuclear missiles launched from Iran. The missiles appear to be targeted for major cities and metropolitan areas impacted will include New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Seattle, Tacoma, Miami, Atlanta, Denver, St. Louis, Minneapolis, St. Paul, San Francisco, Boston, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. These missiles are expected to impact in approximately 30 minutes. A few live within 300 miles of these cities, seek shelter now in the lowest level of a reinforced building due to the impact of fallout. Fallout is extremely dangerous and will spread quickly within minutes of impact. 
all television and radio stations will cease normal operations effective immediately. Please refrain from using landline and cellular telephones so lines can remain open for emergency personnel. Stay tuned for a message from President Obama.